Hi, this is a question on free body diagram. Uh, there's a car which is moving to the right, the speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Uh, if you want to convert it into meter per second, you have to multiply 75 by 5 and divide by 18, and that will be in meter per second. Uh, the free body diagram is right here. There's a normal reaction R. There's a weight mg acting downwards. There's a speed of 75 kilometers per hour on the right. And there's a force of kinetic friction, which is acting on the left side. The force of kinetic friction in this case is 0 0.6 times R, which is 0 0.6 times uh, normal reaction. And that normal reaction is 1 to 6, 4 multiplied by G. So if you plug in the value of uh, that, you'll get the force of friction. Uh, this force of friction is causing a deceleration to the, to the car. And therefore, for initial velocity of 75 kilometers per hour change to meter per second, there is a deceleration equals, uh, the deceleration is equal to A equals to negative. Uh, the force of friction divided by mass. So force of friction is 0 0.6 uh, R upon mass and R itself is 1 to 6, 4 G uh, divided by the mass. Okay. So you get the deceleration and then you can use the formula for uh, motion. That is V square is equal to U square plus twice of As, where A is negative, you can find the distance, the final velocity being zero. So this will be uh, 75 kilometers per hour and will be equal to A times S, the A is negative, so the U square is equal to a positive value. And therefore you can get the value of S equals, S will be equal to U square upon two times deceleration. And uh, you would be getting again from 75 kilometers per change to meter per second. That's 75 to 5 divided by 80. And likewise, if you want, uh, you want to find the stopping distance, then you have to use v square is equal to u square plus 2as. V square being zero, u is again 75 kilometers per hour equals a into s twice of a's into s. So a, you know it. That is a deceleration which you already calculated, uh, that is force of friction divided by mass, uh, and the mass is 1 to 6, 4. And then uh, you can find the time taken by using the formula V is equal to uh, U plus AT, where A is negative. So I hope this will work. Thank you.